Okay, so once again, I'm Ayu and I will be your host today. And today joining me will be Rosalind. And since it's the long Easter weekend, um, so to, you know, to share with you all a little bit of some of the recipes which you can try, whether you are celebrating Easter or not. And we have decided to pick um, a few chocolate recipes because we know everybody loves chocolate. Who does not love chocolate, right? So um, today we will be showcasing three recipes. The so first will be a pasqualina. Um, we will also be making, um, I will be making hot chocolate on a stick and we will be doing uh, fruits covered with chocolate. So welcome once again to your Thermomix cooking experience. And this is the Alpha Brunch um, cooking demo. All right, so moving on. My life before Thermomix basically was crazy. Um, I was a stay-at-home mom, but because during the MCO, I actually didn't know how to cook. And because I didn't know how to cook, uh, food delivery was actually my best friend. And I must say that I actually spent quite a lot on food delivery that in the end, I realized it was ridiculous. Okay, and I did not know how to cook, so that's why that was my only resort. And I had a lot of washing to do because, um, you know, sometimes I would attempt to cook things and then there'll be so much of pots and pans to wash. So how many of you can relate to my story? Drop in the comment and say me. If you are a working mom or if you're someone who is working and you're taking care of your children or you don't know how to cook or you have lots of kitchen appliances but never use it or if you know anyone who has food allergies or intolerance and you know you just want to find something that will help change your lifestyle so moving on that was my life before thermomix okay so my question basically is um i would really love our family to eat together and because i feel that you know a family that eats together stick together and that's the great moment where everybody can bond together so besides that it is uh, also i wanted something which is easy cooking and this was just it because like i mentioned i did not know how to cook but right now i'm here in front of y'all you know sharing recipes which i would not have imagined like three years ago and also i find that it's a healthier um, you know eating option when you use the thermomix All right, so next. Rosalie, you're cooking. <laughs> Hi, maybe I should start cooking. What do you think, are you? <laughs> yes, we would love to see the first dish. So tell us a little bit, um, start cooking and yes. then we want to know more about it. Yeah, so it's Pascha and it's time to eat something uh, a bit this special dish is like raya you have raya dish chinese new year you have christmas you have the probably you have and in the um pasta which is um what do you call in uh pasta we need this during pasta not eat beef for that weekend just to remembrance of the um, to to um, Christianity. So let's go further. My name is Rosalind. I'm your Thermomix advisor, and today I'm very happy to show you this because this is what my husband's side of family will do during Pascha. Let's let's not uh, uh, okay just uh, <laughs> okay cooking and let you see how easy this can be so this recipe i got it from not the best of doing this but you know you have no fears when it's come to thermo okay so i just type in pasqualina anything with easter just type it in thing that you like like to have a just a, something in cookie do so it around 30 gram of parmesan che uh, cheese but um since mine is great it's already grated so i don't have to do i just pre-weight them it's 30 gram of cheese over here right 
we can skip that part. So you can set aside itself. Now let's make the door because this requires a door, a filling and two back. So it takes a bit of time, but we will manage. Okay, I'm going to use a spatula. Okay, spatula somewhere. Just put your, because it is, you have a weighing scale in the thermomix. So when it comes to baking, you don't have to worry too much. Um, using too much plates, pre-weight and all these, right? So flour in one tablespoon of sea salt. So I have here, I just pre-weight then, just put it in. And what's next? Just follow the instruction, okay? <laughs> tablespoon of baking powder, go ahead. And I have a chill butter. So I'm using this chill butter, I've cut into little pieces, if you can see, I'm not sure if you can see. I'm just gonna break them, because I just took it up from the fridge. So 200 grams, so it just wanna be sure what I'm doing is just put in 200 grams of butter. Okay. Now next, just what I say, follow the instruction and let it lead you. Right, so this is this you mix with your hand until it's until it, it have a bread crumb consistency. So one, so you this is a measuring cup. So I pre-measure my water from here and I move it to here uh, uh, cold. So all you do is just put your cold hundred gram of cold water. Okay, just pour inside. There you go. Okay, a bit more, but that's okay. Close it. And then in front of the door. Okay, it's too fast that I don't even have time to open up this one. So we're going to keep this into, we're going to just pour it down on the clean wrap or on the mat, if you have a mat, but since I need to use my mat later, it's so easy, the door is done, okay? Faster, huh? if you use your, do this, which I normally do when I do my, um, my quiche before I have thermomix. So it's uh, quite a bit of work. So I will spend 45 seconds achieve this. I'm into, like, let them um, stick together. We're going to let this rest in the fridge for half hour before we can start using them. So this is Usually pastry, we need to rest the gluten. So it works beautifully for us. Okay, just give me a second. I actually or another one that will fasten the process a bit. So this in the fridge, in the colder place. So I actually have one over here. I'm going to move this a bit. Just give me a bit of space here. I am going to make the shell of the door. Okay. Right, just yet, I'm just going to rest it a bit. Still a bit hard. Therefore, I'm going to start cooking the filling. Okay. Right, let's continue cooking. Put it in another. Uh, and cool it down. Okay. Okay, the bowl is dirty, so I can just start cooking. Got my things ready here. Got mine. So we need around two onions or approximately 300 grams of onion. Just chop a quarter like this. Okay. If you can't, if you can't get like 300 grams, it's okay to uh, relate. 
relatively medium size of onion. Okay. And then you add extra virgin olive oil, 50 gram. Okay. Okay, you'll be doing, she's supposed to chop the onion, she put in oil. Okay. So this is how the thermomix works. Okay. Same like like how we do in a normal kit. So now I'll let it chop the cheese. Right, three seconds. I don't even have time to drink. It's all chopped up. I can show you. It's a matter of fast speed, okay? So you won't achieve this when you use a normal blender, yeah? So right, he says scrub everything. Yes, I did it. You have a kitchen assistant who decides everything for you. And we are going to sort of everything is set for you at minutes 100 uh, Celsius and then um, at the speed of one. Meanwhile, while I'm doing this, I'm going to move it a bit. I'm going to do the dough. So we waste no time. When I finish my dough, then I will, okay. So I'm going to cut this into two. You can just use your spatula. So you don't have to take another tool. So I will say this. Or maybe six eight of the door because this one is only for the cover. So it's a new clean rate because it's quite bad. It's the old one. I'm going to take this big chunk of the dough. I'm just going to flatten it first. Then. Okay. In this recipe, I will eat like this because I like it a bit uh, um, thicker and, and higher. I always use a bit shorter, but that's fine. It's, it's actually work out, right? So to avoid it sticking up, you can put flour if you like, but I prefer to do magic a bit. You just roll it, spread it until the size of the pans. So quite a big run. So the dough is very, very easy to work. I'm just rolling without effort. So you can make these a day ahead and then you serve it the next day. It's the longer it takes, the, the more night it will be nicer. If you don't think it's round enough, you can make it even rounder. I want to get the even, even thickness. So as you can see, the thermometer rate. So just be careful. It's already reached eighty-five degrees at the moment. I got two. Well, not everything is inside the plastic, but that's fine. So you can measure it if you want. So I'm just going to pop it like this. Just put it inside your dish like this. Okay. It's, it's, it's not difficult. So the don't think this is difficult. It's not at all. It's actually quite fun to work with. So around the pastry. You see, I still didn't 
lifted my hand. So we need to access every way. Okay, you can take from somewhere here and move it around here. So we don't put it balance. It's a very nice door to work with. Imagine you can do this, you know, usually you buy from the shop. But today you will make it. When you get your thermomix, you will, you will make this. Can make your, it's the same process of making apple pie. So if you dream of one day you will make an apple pie, go ahead. So it looks like this. Easy, right? So I am not going to trim off the one on the side yet, but that's fine. But if you like to trim them, it's it's okay as well. We'll pleat them later. Basically, I will close my pastry. Uh, we can set this aside. When our, our filling is ready, we will bring this one back. I'm just going to trim off a bit the one too much excess here. Voila. So we just put it, put it in your fridge. That's fine. Just put next to the thermomix. So as you can see, it's fast and it's fresh and it's easy with thermomix. You can actually make your fresh uh, lemonade in few seconds. We are talking about a matter of second, okay? So you can do two second lemonade, which is our famous two, two second lemonade, a calamansi, a frappy coffee. You don't have to go to, um, to get one cup of coffee for 20 ringgit, or you can do it, make it from your own kitchen. You can also do your chicken stock, okay? Because the moments have a turbo mode that really powerful, therefore it can actually blend everything dust, okay? So you can do your uh, iceberg as well, right? So it, it's scale that that have received. So, so T, TM, or we call it Thermomix, is original all-in-one super kitchen machine. So it's world-class, it's German quality by Bobex, and it has been around 40 years. And Thermomix itself already been around 60 years. So you can see that everywhere in the world, 80 countries, so you can actually find Thermomix. And if you see from the chart that it's actually from 1960 up to now, it has evolved. You see that we find it a funny looking thermo uh, blender and then, and we have TM6, which is quite high tech at the moment. There with a the Wi-Fi connector. So do you know that a 23 second one Thermomix is sold around the world? Do you know how popular is Thermomix? And all the 12 million household own the Thermomix. So today, as you can see, we're doing cook, cook shows. So we believe in what we're doing. And therefore, Thermomix is the way to go, all right? Okay, so let's move on to, so now you're asking about about thermomix. Okay, what? Okay, it's a top class visibility, uh, German qualities. TMs have a powerful motor, frictionless, and no heat generated during the, the process of blending. So there's no cooling fan needed uh, in the machine. So, it, so because it doesn't generate heat, and it's, it's, it's the speed of 40 RPM, which is rotation per minute. So in one minute, 40 times rotating, and it's 10,700 
uh, RPM. So it's so, so powerful and it runs in clockwise and anti-clockwise. So for safety, we have all and see, we have the spatula, the, the um, butterfly, and we do have a sharp, sharp blade that actually chop and knead and do everything for you. So before I move on the part of the thermomix, let me kneel the cooking so that we have more time um, explaining to you. So the next crossbow I bought everyone in 280 fresh baby spinach leaf. So I, I don't have enough baby spinach leaf, but I, I have some frozen ones. So, that, so I'm just going to mix today because if I don't use this, then I'm not going to use it, right? Then it's, it's the waste. So I'm going to put 200 of my frozen spinach. So I mix them because whatever I have. Also use your biome. You don't have to use your baby spinach on it. I do with biome, it's fine. Okay, well, um, half teaspoon of salt and, and brown paper and also a pinch of nutmeg. So they all are in here. I'll just put everything in and also a little bit of sugar okay. insert and then we're gonna cook for another six minutes right so I I can explain to you while I'm cooking because that's how it works with the moments okay now let's move on um, let's look at our slides again so as you can see here the moments come with when you purchase your thermometer, the thing that you will get, which is the Baroma, who, which is 3.3 liter, can fit up to 1.3 uh, 1 1 kilo chicken. Uh, you, we have the tray, just uh, the second layer. And we do have a splash guard. That's where, for safety reason, the splash guard is to avoid splashing. Okay, and then we do have the measuring cup, as you can see here, the measuring cup. This measuring cup have a 10 ml, a 50 ml and 100 ml uh, measurement. So you can use this as your cup instead of using another bowl or another cup to measure your, your liquid. Okay, then we have a simmering basket. The simmering basket is for you to steam your rice, your potatoes, okay, vegetables, even to wash your chicken and the beef or, or meat. Okay, and next we have a mixing bowl. The mixing bowl is has a capacity of two, two liter, and we have the little little handle here. We call it the alcohol locking system. These are very important to hold. You have to take care of it, but it's really one of the best helper you have is to hold your bowl so that uh, to hold the cover so. It will not splash around or, or, or come off. Okay. Then we do have a powerful, as I mentioned before, the powerful German quality motor. So the motor is from Germany and the creativity is by the French. Okay. So this, so when you go to the, the, the factory is actually in France. So when you go to France, you can go and have a visit. Okay. Now everyone can beg because you can wait, you can meet, you can do everything in your thermomix, okay? So, before that, now you're asking, how much is the price of a thermomix? Sorry, you miss, <laughs> I forgot this part. Um, so it's actually six, nine, eight, eight. Um, so you, it sounds expensive, but do have payment plan with 0% that can up to 24 months, okay, installment, and you will be counting now. Are you um, counting in your head? So it, let's do a calculation. So if you pay for 291 
a month, basically you are spending nine ringgit a day with nine ringgit. Can you buy a a, a non bread? No, it's impossible. It's more than that. Yeah. So one of the another uh, another um, method to own a place is actually to become an advisor like me, Ayu, and Eunice, and everyone here. So to become an economics advisor, you just have to the person who asked you to join today and become one of us, and then you will get your free thermomix. That's what I did when I joined in. But I'm very proud to tell you because it's, it's possible, okay? And for the price you pay, it's worth it because TM have a hut. So the hut is over here. It's up there all the time. It's, it's, it's getting better, better on its own. And what do I mean by that is because of the software. So we do have software up there now and then and therefore it's not like buying a telephone you know a, a handphone you will have to buy a new one a new uh, let's say uh, another version to get the new update so in thermomix it will just update itself okay so right let me come back to now everyone can back so you can uh, uh, wait mix need and everything in your thermomix and you can actually um, do everything in one bowl and just bake it in the oven right and uh, you there's a built-in temperature control and up to 30, 37 degrees you can just add like what i did just now i just add and add and add the ingredient and then we just need for me and do whatever i want it to be like let's say cake like a cake, a meatball, a pasta, or, or, or even um, some tarts, some noodle, okay, some banana cake. Okay, so it's a same proof every time. So you perfect dough every time, and there's a pre cleaning mode after you 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 make your dough or after kneading, and the pre cleaning mode. Uh, can detect the dirtiness of the bowl and clean. Let's look at your screen. Cookie do, a cookie and the do, right? So cookie do have a eighty thousand inside that you can explore. Okay, so it's a uh, okay. Before I move on to cookie do, let's let's. Uh, Let's continue cooking. <laughs> so we have a lot of things to go now. Okay. So we have to add the other uh, the required ricotta. So this ricotta, I actually made it myself. In the shelf, you, you can find in the shop, of course, but, but I prefer to go so expensively. It's so easy. There's a recipe in the cookie do. You can do this. So as you can see, everything you can do at home. You don't have to worry about um, if you're running out of icing sugar, you can make your sugar quota. You can make your own ricotta. So we need around 200 to 250 grams. So I pre-weight this. I have a bit of excess for it. I don't know what to do. I'll just add it on. So that's fine. Okay. So you can put your pre Reserve the parmesan that we have earlier on. Just put it in. And we're going to mix it through. Okay. So you have to cool it down before you put on the um, on the door, but since I've done everything. So if you can see from my screen, there is a video to show you how to make your door. So you don't have to worry about that. So okay, I need to have a YouTube to see, but your YouTube is already inside your thermomix. So how wonderful is that, right? So since I did this before, okay, 
I'm just going to put in all this inside. So we need to pull it down, but that's, it's not the problem. I'm going to put my oven now. Okay. So I actually have something inside my oven. So let me preheat my oven. Okay. Okay, I am actually looking for how many temperatures. <laughs> so if you forgot your temperature like I do, you can always go back. So you just scrub this one out. Look at the measure. Okay, it's almost effortless. I was talking to you while all this spinach you just pour inside just pour everything so you look like an italian chef here without going to a pastry school you already master the, the help of cookie do so as you can see oh la la so nothing go to waste for me I will just... So your onion here, you wait your 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 things here, everything done in the thermomix, okay? So I am just going to take out the last bit of it, like I always do, like you will do it. And I'm going to add some water. So I will do the pre washing later because later on i will still have to show you the chocolate to worry too much about this just spread it around your if you can you see okay do you have a question so far how do this happen so how do this uh, magic happen the rocket scientist okay said so then Okay, spoon and put all over the place. You say, okay, I'm just going to spoon and put all over the place this filling. So what do I do next, Thermomix? What I have to do? Craig sit on top of the spinach and leave space and season with salt and paper. And since I already season, so what I do, I just put a bit of hole here. I don't know. I, this is my idea. So that the egg have space. So make sure your egg is fresh. So I got my fresh eggs and I'm taking the risk to just here. So six of them. Crack six eggs. A three, four. Five, six. Right. So you put this evenly. So when you cut, when you cut your pascualina, okay. I'm, that's why I create a little well for them, so that um, they are everywhere. Okay. So you. So I don't want them to be on the just gonna do it. This. So make sure they are scattered everywhere. So that's the best I can do. <laughs> so they're actually everywhere, as you can see. And what do I do next? The remaining pastry circle la 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 on top and, and press and okay, right. Let's do what it says. Again, use back the same paper. Okay. Right. You're almost there. I'm gonna do like this. You can because it's a big piece of paper, you can just roll it. So you can gel. Okay. Let me push this so I have space to work. You can also just use your rolling pin to roll it. 
but you see it's it's just thick everywhere which is not my favor okay and she you sprayed it more we are going to use this to cover the it's okay if it didn't close everything but we have the pastry that on the side that will actually will help us so this is all show in the video How easy is that, right? Make a meal of them. Now bring back your. You can really cover them. Yes, it does. So turn it around again. Just put it on top of the pastry. Okay, don't worry, it doesn't look perfect, but it will perfect. This. So I am not the expert of this <laughs> the video and just follow what the video say. Okay, I'm just trim off a bit of the, if you don't want to trim, you can also do. Okay, what's going to actually sit so you can just take and pinch, take and pinch, take and pinch, okay, which I am not best at it. This is like making curry puff. So we are sealing it. So make sure you seal them properly, press them. You can actually just use your fork. I prefer to do it this way. It, it fits the, it's the feeling to have this, this. Okay, look, I managed, all right. <laughs> Right, to make this, it will not explode anything. You just put, some, yes, it looks like a prawn. This is all thanks to the video I saw. So you just put some so that the pastry will not, so it has some, uh, what you call, it gives some, um, some space for the pastry to breathe. So put some sleep here. Now, before we put it into the oven, it's supposed to look beautiful, isn't it? So what you do is you make your egg wash. So I brought my white egg. Instead, I'm just going to use them. Here of eggs. And brush it all over, okay? So just brush. This will need another 35 minutes to bake. I'm just going to quickly brush it. So if you think it's too thick, you can actually add some water to your egg wash, but I am preferring just to put this. This is very special for, for Easter. In the typical Italian family, they serve this. So we are making it like a pro here, like a grandmother in Italy making this. So if you're a vegetarian, one of the dish you can try. No, I think I'm about it. So I'm gonna pop this to the oven and in 35 minutes, we are going to see how we, how, how we just Come over here, put inside here. Let me put the timer 35 minutes. 
So we got time for everything. Let me explain to you the next thing is the cookie do. So what is cookie do? So I've started just now. So a cookie do is an integrated award winning recipe library. Okay. This recipe is incorporated in your DM6, the rook is inside, and also the step-by-step -step guided cooking. Okay, so this is a recipe book that talk and make you work, okay? And it's fail-proof, okay? So why do we call this cookie do world class? Because all the recipe that you see here is actually contributed by a world a world renowned chef. So all the recipe is fail proof. It have a video, it's customized recipe. You can even now personalize your collection uh, uh, collection and favorites for uh, cookie do's. You can create the shopping list on your gadgets, on your phone. You can do it in advance before you do your cooking, after you know what you want to cook. And then you can do a weekly planner. So there's also some a weekly planner that you can put Monday, what you want to put, what ingredient. And, and this actually is, is quite helpful for someone who is working, someone who like to be more organized, someone who take and take care of their financial. Because by doing this, you know what things to buy, what, uh, what in your shopping list, and you won't be buying doubles. That's how we save thermomix. And also, there's always articles that are talking about diet, talking about ingredients, talking about risk. So you can access this through your phone, through your tablets, and even your computer. So when you purchase your Thermomix, TM6, you get and then six months free recipes. And after that, you have to subscribe, which is cost nothing. All right. So for those who cook very well, this uh, you might be running. Um, idea, but go to your cookie do and you'll find more, more um, creative idea to cook because we know that our kids will always say, are you cooking the same thing? But just try to be different, have a thermomix. Okay, so now let's move on to the next thing, the natural, healthy, delightful, bringing joy every day, right? So I'm talking about every wouldn't be glad to be able to provide okay a fresh and nutritious food for your kids and me. So that's how you express your love for your loved one as well. Okay, so especially your kids or your elderly who require a special diet. So get your thermomix and you can start making a healthy ice cream, you can start making a healthy dessert, you can use healthy. Uh, um, fresh in, and you won't overcook your vegetables and that's how you don't kill your nutrient okay you can try to enjoy food at the same time you still receive the best from your food okay right so what do you need so tm6 is all you need in your kitchen okay so my kitchen is actually quite clear so before this i have my my blender here, I have a food processor here, and now I just need this. So this little corner to cook because TM6 did most of the thing for me, right? So you don't have to have so many things in your house. You don't have to get the sous vide machine, hand mixer, blender, butter maker, food processor. Who have a steamer at home? <laughs> so you don't need a steamer. You don't need a stand up mixer anymore. You don't have to have a great uh, you don't have a yogurt maker. You have to have so many, um, too many cookbooks that you just collecting dust in your shelf, and you yeah exactly collecting dust. And you also you know Thermomix was also um, served as a, a kettle, meat grinder, slow cooker, a potato meal, rice cooker as well. So bread maker of course. And if you go anywhere, you can actually travel with it. So I can tell you, if I ask you a question now, so how many things on your counter is not actually fully functional and, and, and um, or maybe in the shelf or collecting that? If you can answer me, that would be great. <laughs> so I, um, 
Yeah, yeah let's you. move on to are you <laughs> are you, Thank you, you gonna, Rosaline? Are you gonna show us uh, more things after yes, this? Yes, <laughs> I am. So that was a really, really good um what is this session on how to make pastry as well because Honestly, I've always failed at making pastry and that was really good. All right, so before we get started, my recipe is super simple. I think it's just less than two steps. Even the ingredients as well, I counted, it's less than five steps. So, and it's really, really, um, it's a big hit among most of um, the kids. Uh, I know mine personally love it. So today what we'll be making is um, hot chocolate on a stick. Very, very easy. So I'm just going to retrieve the recipe um, from the cookie dough, which, uh, what is this, Rosaline already explained earlier. So it's already in here. You can see it more or less. Hot chocolate on a stick. And if you do not want to pre-weigh the ingredients, which is what I normally do, you can actually just weigh it as you go along. All right. So right now, what I'm doing is going to melt the chocolate. All right. So you can type in the comment how many of y'all have baked before chocolate cookies or anything that has to do with chocolate and you need to melt it. Okay, so just now what I added was the dark chocolate. Now this is the milk chocolate. Okay. So you can either use the, like this are called like coins. So you can either use the coins or you can use the bar, but it's better for you to break it up into pieces so that it um, melts easier and better okay next we're going to add in um some cinnamon because cinnamon always gives it the extra lovely taste to it so two teaspoons of cinnamon okay next you're going to add in some nutmeg now this recipe is actually in the cookie dough itself now i do not have nutmeg unfortunately so we're just going to skip it Okay, and move on to the next part, which is cocoa powder. So I've got my cocoa powder here. Now, this is why I love cooking with Thermomix. is because if you have, um, you know, any concerns, if you know someone who is diabetic and they need to eat a certain type of food, certain type of ingredients, this is just right. Because you can actually use like organic or you can use... Um, uh, refined or proper kind of uh, sugar as the substitute for it. So it's a lot more healthier. All right, moving on next. That was basically it. That was just all the ingredients that we need. And we're just going to close it. So if you want to see, I'll just quickly show you how it looks like in here. So this is how it looks like in here. It's quite full. Okay, so I'm going to cover it. Okay, next. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to blend it for 10 seconds. So let's go and blend. As you can see, if I was doing it the traditional method, I would have already had to take out your weighing scale. I would have to take out the blender and I would have to take out the cake mixer. That's already three um, separate kitchen appliances, which I would have to take out, which I would have to wash unnecessarily. All right. So now this is how it looks like. See, all nicely chopped finely in here. So I'm going to place it back here, cover it. Move on to the next one. And for the next four minutes, what it's doing is basically it's melting. All right, so talking about melting, I will show you and explain to you more about it. So with the thermal mix, you get the perfect temperature and it brings out the best. Okay, so for example, if you want to cook your veggies, why don't you write in your comment? Normally, how would you cook your veggies? Do you steam it? Do you boil it? Do you stir fry it? Because personally, last time, how I used to cook was I used to stir fry uh, my veggies. However, when you stir fry your veggies, you cannot get the exact temperature. So what happens is that you overcook, you tend to overcook your veggies and it does not have the proper nutrients that you want. So when you cook with a thermal mix, you can actually select the temperature in the middle here. 
at 120 degrees that will give you the perfect um, temperature for uh, cooking your veggies so that your veggies will come out nice and bright and you will see that you can still maintain the nutrients in it. Next, we also have high temperature cooking. Now, high temperature is already preset inside. Reason being is that we do not want um, our users to accidentally misuse the high temperature, which can go up to 170 degrees. So all your bawang goreng, your fried shallots, your um, fried, um, what do you call it, garlic, your crispy garlic, your ikan bilis can all be done in the thermomix itself without having oil splatter all over and without using a lot of oil. So that's the great thing about thermomix because the recipe is already in there. So you just have to follow step by step. And besides that, we also have, like I mentioned, um, you know, you can cook your chocolate, which is what we're doing right now. So melting chocolate between 50 to 60 degrees, that's the perfect temperature. So that's how it actually helps the double boil. Because previously, in the previous method, what happens is that I will have the chocolate here. And then you would, no, your chocolate has to be in a bowl and then the pan underneath and with water. And most of the time, two things will happen. It will either be overburned, that means, you know, like too watery, or it will not melt properly, which is such a hassle because then I will have to, you know, like keep doing it again and again. Another thing that I love making is kaya. Let me know in the comments. Have you ever made kaya? Like pandan kaya in the house is something now like, you know, we just have whenever we want. All I need to do is, I'm even planning to plant a pandan tree because I know that pandan is used in so many of the dishes. And to make um, the kaya spread pandan is so easy because all you have to do is basically put in the pandan, you know, and put in the egg yolks and just leave it. It will cook by itself at the 98 degrees temperature. So you don't have to keep monitoring it. You can just leave it and do whatever you want. Now, like I mentioned, again, we have the high temperature, which is around 160 degrees. Now, if you want to brown your meat, you can actually brown your meat because most of the people ask, um, can I fry my chicken or fry my, you know, uh, meat? You can't deep fry it, but yes, you can brown it. Like, for example, you want to make beef stroganoff or you want to make um, ayam masak kicap or daging papure. Yes, you can. You can actually put the meat in there and it will help you brown for it in the recipe itself. Now, another thing is that, like I said, you know, the kids love chocolate and I don't want to deprive them out of it. We actually have made our own lollipop, our own salted caramel. Because of the accuracy in the temperature, it does not um, burn the sugar. So it gets you to the right temperature. So now my Thermomix is calling me. Let me attend to it before we move on. <laughs> Isn't that easy? Look at how fast and easy it was. Wow, amazing. Check that out. Look at that. It is all nicely melted in the Thermomix itself. And I guarantee I did not overboil it and I did not underboil it. So everything is nicely melted in here. So if you want to make like um, soft, moist chocolate cake, you just don't have to. Oh yeah, another thing. If I were to cook it the traditional method, I will also have to have a pot because I will need to melt the chocolate. Okay, so what I did just now was just to scrape down the side so that everything is um, nicely mixed. And we're going to move on. We're going to cover it back again. Okay. And click next. So for the next um, one minute or so, it's actually just going to make it and give it a nice texture. So I can move on with my explanation again. How amazing and fast is this? Now, I know most of us are living a hectic lifestyle and we just want something that is fast, delicious, easy, and healthy. So why we came up with the four-layer cooking? So four-layer cooking just basically means that we get to eat a complete healthy meal in cooking without having to wait for a longer time. The reason why most of us do not eat, you know, healthy because we do not want to wait so long. You know, for, so if you want to make, let's just say, um, 
chicken rice or we want to cook stack up with fish, with veggie and rice, that only takes hardly half an hour. So what will happen is you will have your, uh, what is this, Maroma? Let me just show you. My apologies. It went flying. My aroma went flying. Okay. So what happens is you can just place it on top. So at the bottom here, you can actually cook your rice. And on the um, bowl itself, inside the Varoma dish, you can put your veggies. And on the Varoma tray, you can actually put your stiaka or whatever that you want to cook. Cooking chicken rice also will be very, very easy. See how easy it is? And guess what? Talking about easy. My hot chocolate stick is almost done. So what I'm going to do is I actually have my mold over here. Okay, one second. I will push it back so that you can see. All right, so this is my silicon mold, which was in the Varoma Premium series. And then I'm going to put it in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it in here just like that. Look at how rich and thick it is. Oh, it's so good. Poisseur, poisseur, poisseur. It's okay. <laughs> It makes a perfect gift because you can take it out and wrap it up individually so that it will look nice and pretty as gift. Okay. So I will do the rest of it in a while later on. So I'll just show you how I'm going to decorate it. So what you're going to do is just take out uh, a straw. Okay, my straw is quite long, so <laughs> I'm just going to cut it into half, like that. Okay, and then I'm going to poke it in the middle, just like that. Okay, and decorate it on top with a bit of marshmallows. Oh, this looks so good. You actually um, should use the mini marshmallows. However, in the house, I did not have any mini marshmallows. I had the big marshmallows. So I just chopped them up like this. <laughs> okay, if you have the mini marshmallows, it's a lot easier to work with. Okay, and then you do it for the rest of it. Now what I'm going to do is place it in the fridge um, for at least an hour. And guess what? It will already be ready. So... Before uh, I show you the final product, I will explain a little bit more and then I'll pass it to Rosalind. Okay, so time is precious. With Thermomix, you gain lots of time. So you can even do two-layer cooking. Uh, two-layer cooking basically is that you can cook your mantau on the top. Hi. And then you can also make your pumpkin soup underneath. You can make three layers. Now this is, I know like, you know, Raya is coming soon. Most of us want to make rendang. So you can massage your rendang at the bottom of the bowl. Okay, so you can massage your rendang at the bottom. And then on top, you can put your pulut puning and the telur. And chicken rice is also very easy to make in less than half an hour. Amazing or not amazing? How much you can save time? All right, so. <laughs> now, moving on. Uh, we have the fermentation mode. Now, with the Thermomix, you not only um, can cook, um, what is this, multi-layers, but we also have different modes. So, you have the fermentation mode where you can make your own yogurt. You have the slow cook mode where you can make your uh, stew. You have the rice cooker mode for those of you that not make like biryani or um, clay pot chicken rice. It's also good. And on top of that, we have the warm up mode where you can warm up whatever that you have just cooked. You don't have to use the uh, microwave oven. It's a safer choice. Egg boiler. We love our eggs, whether it's soft boil, hard boil, medium boil. So you can pick which kind of eggs that you want. And besides that, we have the pre-clean mode, which is what I'm going to be doing after this because I have all the chocolate inside there. So I'm actually going to put a bit of water, one drop of dishwashing liquid, 
and clean it by itself. Now, moving on, also we have the sous vide method. Sous vide method is basically cooking in um, a Ziploc bag with water. And what happens is it will cook evenly at a slow temperature for a, quite a period of time so that you will maintain its juiciness and the nutrients and you can taste it like really, really sedap. Okay? <laughs> All right. So, just wondering, what is the first dish that you will cook when you get your thermomix? So, earlier we saw Rosaline has made um, the pascolina and I have made this simple and really easy, delicious hot chocolate dip. I will show you how it looks like. It's really, really good. And um, there's so many other things that you can make. So, for only as low as nine ringgit a day, that's right, only for nine ringgit a day because we have installment plans and we accept debit card, credit card, um, you know, online transfer for the payments. Now we have up to 24 months, which means it's really, really worth it. For 9 ringgit, can you imagine you can make so many things with it? On top of that, when you purchase with us, we're giving away our thermal mat. Okay, this mat, this mat is really useful. Like you saw um, Rosaline used earlier for um, the pastry or if you not bought cookies and things like that. So this thermal mat is really useful. Now why besides that, you can also put it in the oven and you can put it in the freezer. So, and you can wash it. So it's basically reusable. Really, really, really handy for everyone um, that has a thermomix or even if you don't have a thermomix, it is still very handy. <laughs> okay. And besides that, we also have our a clock book. So this is a clock book has got almost 60 plus recipes and it has you know all kinds of different treats that you can make. So it's a bilingual see pandan coconut ice cream. I'm sure you've never tried how to make pandan coconut ice cream. So now is the time for you to try cranberry cheese but for the near okay I better <laughs> all right so this is the current promo post gift and it ends very very soon so you have a very limited period of time all right so that as is shown on the screen is what we are giving away as a post gift on top of that again if you make full payment online banking you will also get um, our travel back because i know after this everyone is going to balik kampung the festive season is coming you may want to carry a thermomix you know, to Balik Kampung or for your Airbnb holiday, wherever, you can take it in our carry bag. Now, that's when you make full payment by online. Now, if you make full payment by credit card or debit card, you will also get a cute little thermal server. One in it, you can put your rice in it, your curry in it, whatever that you want to remain um, hot you can put it in here. All right. So these are all the latest um, gifts that we are giving it away for you during this period. Hurry, purchase it now. All right. So before we continue, I will pass my screen to um, Rosaline because she has got one more special dish to make. Yes, I have one last thing that you will never want to miss on. Uh um, Easter holiday, but you know, instead of feeding pure chocolate to our kids, let's make a trick. Let's ask our kids to eat something more. As we promised that we always want to bring something um, fresh and nutritious and yet enjoyable for the kids. Okay. Now, I have here some button chocolates, and I am going to show you um, it's actually to melt the chocolates, what are you already did, but this one, something's special for a little one. Did you get your thermal homies? Try to do this, post and show us uh, what is your outcome. Okay, now very easy, melt your chocolate. Instead of using bun murphy, we quickly a pot with a hot water over the stove and you put another pot on top or, or maybe a bowl to, to uh, melt the chocolate. In thermal meats, you don't have to do so many washing. Okay, I should have. Uh, so I'll just put 200 grams of chocolate here, just a button chocolate. And then we need around 
four minutes to melt this. All right, temperature is 60 and let it um, go on the spoon. All right, so this, I'll, I'll put a bit faster anyway. Yeah, so we can continue with the slide. Just have a look at the slide. Yeah, so now bring home and enjoy your thermomix. Yeah, why? because you will get the VIP cooking class from Alpha every now and then. We do have Christmas cooking. We have, uh, um, we do have some focaccia and special, special cooking, um, cooking class for you, right? And when you purchase your Thermomix, there will be free delivery through the nation, uh, throughout the nation. So the whole Malaysia is free delivery when you have your Thermomix is actually include the cookbook. The basic cookbook is a guided and a, a, a very, very, um, very, very important cookbook that it shows a lot of tips and everything inside the books. And we do also have uh, online recipe community. We have over 115,000 members and you also enjoy unboxing, okay? Personal so advisor support. So your advisor that who introduce you to Thermomix and other advisors are actually willing to help you to throughout your, okay. We also have a, a service center, which is in Kota de Mansara and a manufacturer warranty, which is up to two years. So you enjoy this. And at the same time, the 80,000 recipe is in your hand when you have your cookie do. So, so Thermomix is all you need. Life with Thermomix, sorry. So Thermomix is, yeah, life with Thermomix, that's right. So the reason why we have this many reason for any, any layer of, um, of um, uh, people, demographic actually. So we, we want to, to have family eat, uh, mothers can cook. At the same time, we work. For those who work from home, we really need another kitchen assistant who can help us um, to cook for ourselves and our children so that when we also still can continue working and have a good meal together. And also we, we would like to cultivate the good eating habit, uh, children for a start, and then, and then to the adult, okay? so. As you mentioned, one of the most is actually auto cooking and auto washing. So um, after you and everything, as a working mom or even as a, if you're free, you would like to have less thing to wash in the kitchen. Which um, one of the reason I actually made up my mind to get my thermomix, and it's um, you will have a beautiful kitchen because your ki kitchen is. Um, not a lot of clutters okay you don't have too many tools on your kitchen you go into a kitchen you feel fresh you feel you want to do something nice and um, with all the good vibes going into the kitchen because the countertop is tidy and beautiful right so investing in good health is that you can do um, in our life so health is very important. Time is important. Health is important. Therefore, these two you can also get from Thermomix. Yeah. So life with Thermomix is actually much, much better. For, for instance, myself, after I get my Thermomix, there are many things. Um, I'm a jiggling mom. I'm really working with time. And to have a Thermomix is actually a big help for me. Right. Let's continue melted chocolate. So I'm just going to scrub down all the little button. Okay, I'm just gonna show you it's melted beauty there. Okay. So you can just pour it in here. You see that you might two buttons still, but they melt, okay. And just scrub down. Ooh, I'll just make a mess. So just put it in the cup like this, in the glass like this, because we are going to dip. 
the fruit. Just make the most of it. Just pour everything out. So we don't have to have too much because we can always, okay? Right, now you can put this one back. Okay, I'm for one second just to collect something from my fridge. Freezer, sorry. So you can do this in advance, like what I did. I cut some fruits if you have extra fruits at home. Instead of um, cutting a fresh fruit, you can actually just use a stick and and, and, and actually do it like this. So this looks like an ice cream, okay? What you did do is actually you just dip into the chocolate, okay? So, Yeah, so you have this, they will immediately cool down. Okay, I got my parchment paper here and put and let it just sit there. We're gonna do for you. So you can use your any fruit, um, for example, melon, banana, strawberry. Okay, before it cool down, you can actually sprinkle some, some sprinkle. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do a few more. Okay. So you can actually dip all the way in, but I don't do that. So I'm just going to put few. By the time you put it down, it's already set. So you can also do it with your kiwi. Okay, you can just dip it into the chocolate. Ooh la la. All of them. Just, so just put in the glass this way uh, with a big, and then we can put some sprinkle on top as well. Okay, so we are actually giving our kids something good and something as well. Okay, just gonna do a few more. So this is how we cultivate uh, good eating habits, okay? So we do have, um, you know, other than just uh, just giving them fruits or just giving them pure candy and you can actually do this to attract your kids to eat. Okay, I'm gonna do two, three kiwi. Look at this kiwi, pretty and so you can put this back in the fridge or you can straight away eat them. It's actually quite yummy. So if you have a white chocolate, melted chocolate, you can also put around it. So I put the first one, which is not decorated. So I'm gonna put a bit more chocolate just to attract eater. I got very, very fussy at eater at home. I'm sure you have one at home. Right, I'm done with this. Okay, I will continue later. Let me explain more. So um, that's one of the reasons we choose them. I choose thermomics because it's limited way to actually cultivate healthy, healthy, um, healthy eating with my kids. Okay. So who else needs a thermomix? So other than a mom, a chef, a professional. Uh, who love to eat out a single a single a single uh, person um, whoever who who are conscious with health also um, need the thermomix to help you to to do your cooking oh another um, another thing is that uh, thermomix is actually uh, suitable for people who are cooking enthusiastic friends who can cook you can introduce them family with kids um, elderly friends special diet or even just um, a healthy elderly because 
thermos will help them to do most of the cooking so that they won't be uh, working too hard uh, to cook. Okay, uh, let me Okay, I will be quiet. So my Pasqualina is just calling out. Let us continue that what is, uh, what else, who else is need, need, in need of thermomics? So actually you need thermomics as a gift, as a birthday gift, as an, you can get it for your employee rewards, the lucky draw. So eat a, a wedding gift, did I mention, a housewarming as well. So you need, um, you can actually um, send thermomics as a, a gift. That will that will be really really a good gift, really really a good gift for everyone. Now let's continue. So, so the best way to multiple your happiness is actually to share with others. So there are a few a um, few that I mentioned earlier on. You can actually share with everyone what you see today, and if you like them, you can even and share all the good thing with your friends, bring the good vibes to your friends. So one of them is actually um, hosting. After you purchase your Thermomix, you can actually host. You just invite three to six people to your home or even to the demo center in Kota Damansara, or even just a Zoom cooking like what we're having now. You can then you can actually get your host gift uh, I'm sure when you uh, when you see our promotion, the host gift is really really attractive. You should get your hand on it because it's very special and and they are very very useful, right? Now let's continue. So, who would like to have a thermomix? So are you, I'm going to show you something here. I call upon Ayu, seeing me, but before that, I would like to show what is the outcome of uh, my pastor Kualina today. I think they're almost ready. So just before we end, I would like to show you the Pasqualina and also um, ask yourself, would you like to have a Thermomix today? Please just call your advisor to get your Thermomix. Okay, I'm going to take uh, out the... You must be smelling good over there. Yeah, my okay. Pasqualina is ready. <laughs> All right, so while Rosalind gets her Pasqualina, I just want to show you how pretty and, you know, easy it is to make this little um, hot chocolate stick. Can you see it? It's so cute and so easy to make. And as I mentioned, it also makes like as a perfect gift because what you can do is all you have to do is um, wrap it up individually. Okay, excuse my big uh, marshmallows because I do not have the smaller marshmallows. And you can actually like tie a ribbon around it and give it as a gift. It's really, really fast, really easy and very simple. So you will have your milk now, your warm milk in here. Now, um, as you can see, my bowl is full of chocolate. So I'm actually going to pour um, some warm, uh, some milk in there and make the first batch of just normal hot chocolate. Okay, so this will be the normal way that you will make uh, hot chocolate, which means you just put in the milk, put in a bit of uh, chocolate and then let it cook for um, six minutes on 80 degrees. So this is how you do um, the traditional method of hot chocolate. However, this is a cuter way of uh, doing hot chocolate on a stick and it can last in the fridge for up to one week. So in here, when you have your warm uh, milk, all you have to do is just drop it in like this. Okay, and then the milk will actually, the hot milk, it has to be hot. So the hot milk will actually melt the chocolate for you and you can just use this part of the straw to mix it and you will have a delicious hot chocolate on a stick. Interesting, right? Yes. So, so I'm ready. still on. I'm still on my last, last. Um, I mean, it's well finished off the fruit, so I can enjoy while watching my Netflix later on as a dessert. Oh, 
delicious. Anyway. I have to wait until buka puasa to have this hot chocolate. So I'm just okay, putting it in the fridge to mention, and I'm also on fasting. So I'll do it later on for my night time. So I like to have cold fruits um, during the night. I've got my Pasqualina here. Pasqualina. Let me switch off my oven. It beeps a lot. I'm just going to move my TM6 a bit here. Okay, out of the way a bit. And I got my Pasqualina. It's still very hot. So uh, you can actually take it out when it's cooled down. I actually can take it out, but I just don't want to risk it. <laughs> yeah, Look, because um, only when you bake anything, you're supposed to let it cool for a while, right? Yeah, you do it 15 minutes, but if you can take it out, it's fine. But this one, you can serve hot or cold. Therefore, you can do it in advance. The filling, you can do it in advance. The, the, the crust, you can do it in advance. So can you see? It's beautiful, isn't it? So that's how we do. Um, I'm going to cut it out later because it's still very, very hot, but I will post it. I hope you guys can see the outcome later. Oh, it's just, I'm just trying to show the side of it. Can you see? Okay, I'm not going to risk burning my hand. <laughs> okay, we're going to leave it for a, few, uh, a bit more later. I'll cut it and show you. Um, while we are, uh, before we start the show, this is, before we start the show, I also baked some hot cross bun. So the hot cross bun is here. This is what we eat on Easter day. So I do have, you can actually find this recipe in Cookie Do. Um, this year I decided to make uh, a brioche, um, brioche a hot cross bun with the twist and I put some chocolate chips inside because my kids love them. So hot cross bun is a must, okay, for Easter. And I hope you will try all the recipe and I hope you'll get your thermomix today. Don't forget the offer finish at um, this period offer finish at 24th of uh, April. Get your hands on the thermomix and we will be yeah. cooking together and you'll get a lot of support from advisor. It's going to be fun. It's going to be good. And I'll tell you, you'll never regret it. Okay. Um, for now, I'll say thank you for everyone joining me today. Um, happy Easter for everyone. Hope you have a good one and uh, see you again for the next show. Thank you so much, Ayu. Thank you, Rosalind. Uh, it looks and also, so good. And that's why I said for only nine ringgit a day, you can make so many of this. And it's just amazing. So thank you everyone for watching. For those of you who are fasting, Selamat Babu Puasa. And... Um, we will see you all again next week, same time, same yeah. place. Yeah, we would like to thank Eunice as well. Eunice has been the, the person who doing yes, work thank you, behind. Eunice. <laughs> thank you so much for coming in, everyone. Get your Thermomix today. Bye. All right, again. have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe, everyone. See you. Are you look at this? So good. <laughs>